Hello guys, ITD here, and today I've got something really special for you. It's basically like a f uh, Samsung simulator. Um, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me. I've been looking through this little website here, and you know, you get to play near enough anything. Um, I've not tried playing games on it yet. I've tried downloading apps like Facebook and BlackBerry Messenger on it, and it works completely fine. So you know uh, this this link be down in the description if you go down into the description click on the link and then you know I think they do a version for Mac as well I'm not too sure but here's just some of the games you can play look they all just change 24-7 and there's a load of apps you can play that you usually can play on your phone but, um, yeah let's hit uh, download and then we'll see what happens from there so basically we're gonna get this pop up here well, it's not a pop up, it's the download, the install, and this is something they've got to fix all when it tells you what to do. And you start downloading, this bar just stays in front of what you've got to do. But you know, you should know what to do um, if you're used to downloading games. So just give this a second there. And then what we're going to do now is just click on the setup, run, extract him. Okay, so. This is, a, hold on. This is a pretty much of a long process to actually um, do because I had to wait a few minutes for it to all install and everything properly. So while clicking continue, I, can, I accept the terms in the license agreement. So you know, click continue. Um, browse where you want your, uh, you know, your game. Uh, not game. Uh, where you want the folds located so with me I'm just gonna pull it on the desktop for now okay install uh, make sure you have these two enabled uh, app store and just app, have them enabled and um, because you know you're gonna need to download the apps and stuff like that okay I'm just gonna uh, pause this work you know copies of files and everything so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, you get uh, once it's you know so that you've done the setup and everything, you'll get this screen saying download game data. Now this is the one that kind of takes a bit of time. Uh, it's not going to take no more than I'd say no more than 10 minutes. Um, it will come up in a full screen, so I'm just warning you now. Uh, so. You know, you can just ma make that smaller, and you know, it can close. Well, not close it, but minimise it for the time being. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you again when this is finished. So as you can see, um, it's downloaded, um, and it's it, as you can see, it's basic general feature of a Samsung Galaxy tablet or. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know much about Samsungs or what's out with the Samsung, you know, phone or tablet. But it's in. It looks the exact same as a Samsung tablet. So when you first download it and it starts up, it might be a bit slow or whatever. It's just because it's the first time of you running it, and it's going to say uh, it's, it's going to basically tell you to agree or disagree. And when you agree, that allows you to actually. You know, use it. It's like turning a Samsung tablet on for the first time, and you have to agree to use some Google location services. It's basically a setup. So we're going to hit agree here. Um, it's previous version of Android. You turned off ability. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this will come up for you because I've, I downloaded this a while back, so. Um, I'm not too sure but if it does just hit yes and what it will ask you to do is basically uh, hold on let me see if I can get something up here no recent apps so it's basically the same as you know the tablet um, search for apps um, so BBM. If you don't know what that is, that's BlackBerry Messenger. So we're going to search for that, enable that, 
and you're going to have to you know put a Google account into it so I'm going to pause this here and put my Google account into this so I'll see you any second now okay so I've logged into my uh, Gmail account or Google account if you want to call it that and once you're on this app store here uh, you can basically look for any sort of apps that are on the Google Play Store so we're going to head over into apps here and go on the search bar up here and then we're going to type in BBM because that like Blackberry Messenger as you can see it's come up here and we're going to hit install um, yeah hit install and then it will say all these certain things uh, in app purchases and stuff like that which you know this, this is just basic stuff like when you do download apps on your phone it comes up with this stuff and you have to accept it and then it will start to download and it does download pretty fast um, eventually but <laughs> and it's the exact same as any normal thing so like if you haven't got if, if you used to have like a, a phone where you used to be able to get blackberry messenger but you can't get it anymore and you really want to use it this is a perfect you know application for you this software because you can basically talk to people through bbm over the computer you can down, you can log into your blackberry messenger account or you know even though we've got facebook on the internet browsers you can still use facebook app you can play zynga poker you can play anything that's on the app store you can you know uh, i'm not too sure about photo and video editing apps i'm not sure if you know there's some sort of confusion on how it will access your photos and stuff but here we go it's installing here now just gonna wait another few seconds for this to install as you can see there at the top it's, it's basically saying it's downloading and installing still so once this is done we can try and log in there we go um, and it just come down the corner saying blue stack bbm has installed so you know you can actually close this because this application runs in the background and you can actually like, click once it says your application being installed you can click that and it will automatically just you know come onto your application that you've downloaded and now this is going to change uh, from you know sideways to normal like that and it's going to go on this side of your screen but you know just bring that in the centre if you don't want that and sorry I've got a cold today um, but I've had a cold for the past few days but never mind and as you can see it's basic you know it's all the same as a normal blackberry messenger so it's going to ask uh, if you want to create an account but well, I've already got an existing account with this so I'm just going to hit sign in and now I'm going to pause this while enter my information okay so I've actually logged in now and it's saying BBM's connected so it's connected up and running to the internet allow access uh, BBM to access your contacts so seeing as you know this is on computer and it thinks it's on a phone we're going to hit skip because it won't access any contacts and it might give us an error I'm not too sure so with this just hit skip um, are you sure if you don't download BBM to access your contacts uh, yeah just go okay and there's one downside to this I hope like this is the downside to it once you've set up your account and it asks you to take a photo or add from gallery if you try and take a photo this is what happens um, you know there's not even a screen uh, if you, there's nothing there to actually you know oh it does actually access your camera which is a good thing I didn't really know that I don't know where my camera is at the moment my webcam um, you see if I can find it down here it's on the floor so you can access um, your webcam um, oh god you can see the computer there <laughs> uh, so that is you know a good thing I didn't think it would actually let you do that and I've just dropped near enough everything then. Um so you know once you've took your picture just like so um, it says can't create a file but I don't know I don't, I'm not too sure uh, 
And that is kind of a downside to it. I did think you could actually do that then, but obviously not. So we're just going to hit back here. Um, even if you try and access from your gallery, you know, it doesn't work. Um, it's just a wait and see, see if something pops up. No, it doesn't look like anything's going to pop up. Making sounds, but it's not doing nothing. So, if you want to put a picture up, you're going to have to um, log into it on a mobile device and then put your picture up and then re sign back into your account on the computer. So, as soon as we can't do that, we're just going to go off that. Fine friends already using BBM. Uh, there we go. And you can basically call people and stuff. I'm going to add my account that I've actually got on my phone. Um, I'm going to pause this while add it and everything because I don't want random ads. <laughs> so I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so as you can see I've added my account on my PC. Um, I'm, my, I've added the, ca the, the account that I've used my phone with so you know I'm just gonna type something to, you know to this just to show it works let me just find the account here we go now I'm just gonna type hello okay there we go and as you can see it's come up hello um, you can actually be being called it, you're going to be here, like, you probably hear my phone now. Okay, it's actually on silent, but there we go. Um, it's answering now, hold on. So as you can hear, uh, let's just end that. Uh, yeah, as you could hear then, um, you can actually, you know, be being cool and do all that good stuff there. Uh, you know, anything else you would be able to download. Uh, let me just see if it actually sends out messages. Okay, so yeah, it actually uh, sends out messages. It does, you know, everything. It does everything. Pings, it does anything you want it to, really. So, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope this has been, you know, somewhat interesting. And I hope you you download it and have fun with this app um, so yeah apparently you can put it in a big screen but oh there we go I didn't know that at the time but you know <laughs> maybe I'll do another video I'll do a re-upload in it in the future I'm not too sure but if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you enjoy my content content hit the subscribe button and if you want to see anything else or if you want to leave me feedback make sure you comment down in that comment box it really helps me out to improve my videos and i've been it and i'll see you in the future so peace guys hello guys i just wanted to say that this um this application it does allow you to take pictures add a little play around uh just and once you've got to uh, go to the home screen and then go on the camera app and use the camera from there it you, you know you have to wait about f five ten seconds until you know it loads up and everything but then it runs smoothly and you can apply pictures to facebook or bbm or whatever you just have to wait for them few seconds for it to you know gone through that you've clicked it so yeah thank you for watching i've been itd and i'm out peace